hope that this message finds you while you're in good health, good wealth. Let's see a spare house for you. We're going to be taking a look at past, present, future, fear, strengths, some advice from spirit. And we'll go from there. Thank you, spirit, for any and all messages channeled through me. What can you show me about the recent past for Aries? We have the death card. And the ace of swords and the four of cups reverse. <laughs> you got tired of being tired, Aries. That's what it looks like. Two of cups reverse, the knight of swords. Three of cups reverse, the eight of cups, the hermit. Damn, six of cups. You walked a ten of cups reverse. I could keep going. You guys got really tired of being tired. You ended something or something ended. You spoke your truth. Somebody was not valuing your energy, a love connection, a soulmate, potentially someone you could have been married to. A lot of you right now are looking within, trying to find answers, see what's next for you. But there's definitely an energy of you walking away with this eight of cups. You know, you disconnected from someone. Um, I hope not. But some of you definitely, you know, there was a third party involved and you were not standing for the BS is what it looks like, Aries. You spoke your truth. <laughs> um, yeah, this is unfortunate, but it is in your past. So that's what I'm seeing there. A lot of change, but also a lot of power taken back, right? In your present, we have the Ace of Pentacles. We also have the Page of Cups and the Empress in the reverse. Ace of Wands reverse. Ace of Cups reverse. Page of Wands, the Tower. I feel like some of you are getting back out into... I don't know, seeking love again, right? There's definitely some sort of business opportunity or some sort of financial opportunity here for a lot of you or a proposition being made that has value to it. I don't know if you're in an energy or a space where you're ready to go there, right? Ace of Wands reverse, Ace of Cups reverse. You got all the aces. <laughs> um, yeah, someone's making you some sort of offer or maybe you're just being very gentle with yourself right now as you heal. But it feels like if someone is making you an offer, you might not be, you might be very curious about it, but I don't know if you're accepting it in the, yeah, I feel like a lot of you are just working and working. In the uh, near future or immediate future, we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Magician and the World. It's almost like you're taking a break from the relationship things. <laughs> You just you're not ready to put yourself out there in that sort of way or in that type of. I don't know, emotionally, you're not in that type of place. But when it comes down to your money, your work, your gifts, your abilities, right, the things that you possess that you bring value to the world around you or the work environment you're in, you're in your bag. <laughs> you are in your bag, Aries. I think a lot of you could be getting maybe a promotion or finally being recognized for what you bring to the table, right? On the relationship end, it feels there's not a lot there, I'm going to be honest. But there's a lot of expansion for you, Aries, in regards to whatever it is that you're trying to do or manifest. You're in a very strong manifestive energy right now. And you're completing a lot of, you're, a, you're recognizing what cycles you are done with, what you have completed, what you're ready to evolve from, move on from. I see a lot of you becoming masterful or maybe already are masterful at something in your life. Like you are the top at the top of your game. I don't know. I see a lot of money coming in towards you. Show me death in the recent past. Ace of Wands, Five of Swords Reverse, and the Two of Swords. Queen of Swords, Page of Swords Reverse. I feel like somebody was trying to give you the runaround. Like, it was falling apart already, but they were trying to hold on to you, try to convince you of why you should not let go. I just don't see you really, I do see you struggling to believe them or, you know, give them, or believe them, not believe them. Should I give them another chance? Should I just trust my intuition? I do see with this death and the Ace of Wands, it's like you're moving, you're allowing your energy to flow through you, right? You're not, 
you did struggle between your heart and your mind making a decision, but at the end of the day, the decision that you made was to move towards the new beginning or the release of whatever energy was trying to give you the runaround or I don't know. Somebody had you in competition, maybe trying to make you jealous or maybe the situation that happened just did make you jealous. Look, Ace of Swords with the Queen of Cups reverse. The truth that you spoke, Aries, the truth that you spoke, Knight of Swords, was that you were not happy. You lost love for this situation because of what they did to you. You were not happy in regards to what they did. So the truth you spoke was basically, I'm going to nine of cups reverse. If I'm not happy, I'm going to figure out how to be happy. Nine of pinnacles upright. I'm going to go get my money. I'm going to go do me. I'm going to go be an empress, an emperor, a boss. I'm going to go get mines happily, independently, and successfully. The fool and the ten of pinnacles successfully and the emperor, Aries. You're on your game because you let something go. One more. The four of pentacles. And you're not budging. You're not budging. You're showing me a lot of resistance to that past energy because it don't make no sense to you no more. You had to let it go. It was stressing you out too much. Lovers in reverse and the nine of swords. Um, with this four of cups reverse, we do have the page of wands. A lot of you could be very busy right now. Maybe on a new journey. As I say, new journey. The fool and the nine of pentacles come right back out. You're not dwelling in your sadness. You're not moping around. You're trying to let your guard down and be open to new experiences from what I'm seeing. Taking a leap of faith here, moving into the Ace of Pentacles. We have in your present, we have the Tower. Great change. A lot of change. Some of you could be getting a new job. Some of you could be in a new relationship for Pinnacle or for one. Sorry. I don't know. This feels like moving from confusion, pain, sadness, um, really wanting to protect yourself, moving into like radical change, new opportunities, happiness. What is this? I'll take them all. Why not? I don't know. In your present, the past could still be lingering. You have walked away, but they're not, they're making it a difficult, they're they're making it hard, difficult to walk away, if that makes sense, right? The devil in the five of pentacles reverse. You are healing. You're moving on. But the burden and the, and the new beginnings here and all this radical change is here. But the burden and the constraint or the feeling stuck still, it's like, it's almost like getting in the way of some sort of new beginning. The lovers, <laughs> look, it's because this person's not giving up. The page of cups in the center clarified by the lovers in the reverse and the two of pinnacles they keep trying to get you back they keep trying to make you offers or trying to i don't know it just seems like it's creating confusion two more six of swords but you still want to move on and you still want to move forward and that's what you're doing three of cups you could be seeing new people and that could be making this person really bitter um empress in the reverse but for others out there, it's just like you're not letting whatever they're trying to do, you're not letting it stress you. You're not letting it block your blessings. You're not letting it get in your way. You're settled. You've made up your mind. You're not sad. You're not trying to, uh, I mean, you might be sad, but <laughs> you're not letting your sadness or the soft spot that you used to have for this person connection, you're not letting that get in the way of the opportunities that are here for you. With the Empress Reverse, we have the Hermit. So like I said, you're trying to find something within you. You're trying to find um, a way for you to move forward that feels good. You know, like move on, I guess. You're trying to find the right way to move on to where they're just not even a thought in mind. Because we do see the Three of Swords, Ace of Cups Reverse, and the Eight of Wands. Aries, I feel really bad for you because this person does not seem like they are stopping. <laughs> They're not stopping. They're not. They're just really trying to like confess all of this, these things to you and bring peace to the connection. But I see you. You're just like, I just want to heal. Star reverse. You know, it's like I cannot keep letting you back into my life. I could not keep letting this chaos um, or your manipulation control. I can't keep letting that back in. I have to do me right now. And that's what exactly what I see you doing. With the Eight of Pentacles, we got the Two of Pentacles. Some of you could be trying to, you could be in between jobs right now. 
You could be looking for a job. You could have multiple offers. There's definitely one offer or one job situation that makes you feel better than another. And I do see you really determined to make, make something work or make something happen. And this doesn't have to be about work. But what I do see here with this Eight of Pentacles, Three of Swords reverse, Two of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles reverse, I see somebody that you're just done being stuck, you know? You're done being stuck. You were stuck for long enough. This old situation that you were dealing with, family, friend, lover, job, whatever, like you were stuck for long enough. You're ready for progress. You're ready for movement. So I see you putting in the work to make that movement happen. And Moving forward with this magician, I'm not gonna lie, you have all the power in the world in your hands to make this movement happen. And it is happening and you are expanding and everything's happening in divine timing. But there is with the Seven of Pentacles and Four of Swords, there is this awareness in your near future that's like, I have to move at the pace that feels right to my soul. I can't force this, you know? It feels like you're trying to force some sort of progress or some sort of movement forward. But it's like your awareness is like, hold up, I need to, I need to move at the pace that feels natural to me. Um, I do see a lot of you really expanding, letting your guard down, getting unstuck with the hangman reverse, seven of wands reverse, and the chariot clarified all clarifying the world card and the eight of wands. There's a lot of movement happening for you, Aries, in the near future. A lot of success, a lot of progress, a lot of downloads from spirit, a lot of rebalancing your energy and stepping into your power. Love does not seem to be the main goal right now, but it, you know, love will come when it comes. But right now, it seems like it's you getting back to yourself, getting back to your bag, getting back on your path. That's what I'm seeing. Aries is getting back on their path, the Hierophant, your path. Okay, I like that. So that's what we got for past, present, future. We're going to take a look at your fears, and then we're going to take a look at your strengths, and we'll get you some advice from Spirit. Hope you're all doing well today. If you want to follow me on social media, donate to the channel, book a private reading. Links will be in the description boxes below or my About tab. Thank you guys all for 26,000 subscribers. That's a lot of people. <laughs> That's a lot of people. And I'm very grateful for each and every one of you. If you are enjoying this reading, please drop a heart in the comments, Aries. Clear as day. Clear as day. Clear as day. God damn. All right. So in your fears, we have the Queen of Wands reversed, the Queen of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and the Death card. You fear change. You fear this ending, or not this ending per se, but you fear genuinely releasing this energy for good. No contact, no nothing like that. Like you maybe have a lot of yourself, your energy, your time, your love invested into this connection or this situation. And so it feels like letting this commitment go or really detaching, because you've already spoken your truth. So now it's like admitting to yourself that the truth you have spoken is what you feel. Because you know that you feel it. You know that it's real. You know that this is not helping you grow. It's not helping you progress. You fear really detaching. Not being honest, not being blunt, not speaking your truth. You fear letting go for good because your awareness is that you are stuck with this energy, you're stagnant, there's no reciprocation, there's pain, there's heartbreak, there's confusion, there's lack of love, right? They are too controlling, too manipulative, but you are, there, this was a commitment that you made at one point or another. So the fear is basically 
letting it go and learning how to move on or learning how to live in a way where that doesn't exist. All that, all of those things that you invested into this, a fear may be learning how to live without it or what life would be like without it. I don't know. That's definitely a rational or understandable fear, but that is not a fear that is gonna hold you back or prevent you from doing what you need to do for you, the chariot. Moving forward, trust your intuition. That's all I gotta say about that. Trust your intuition, trust your higher self. Your strengths, we're gonna use a different deck. Ace of Cups, Four of Pentacles reversed. Your strengths might surprise you, honestly. I think you might, the right person, if the right person comes around, I think that love. It's going to work for you. All right. What is Aries' strengths? Y'all think I make it up, huh? The Ace of Wands, the Lovers, the Judgment. The Ace of Cups. Y'all think I make it up. And the Eight of Cups. Your strengths, Aries. No matter what type of fear you have about moving on or... This, that, and the third. Your strengths are actually being able to move on, actually being able to be open to something new, right? Everything's situational. You're all going through different things. But it looks like your strengths are your passion, your energy, your inspiration, the things that drive you in life to feel like, I want to get out of bed today. I want to Go make decisions. I want to live. I want to feel free. Like those are your strengths. So that power is going to lead you into love that might surprise you, I want to say. Your strengths are basically being able to be decisive, being able to have an open mind, an open heart, and being able to walk away with the Eight of Cups right here. So no matter what fear you may have about what life might be like, your strengths are basically being able to overcome that thought or overcome that that doubt or that momentary lapse of fear. Knight of Swords and also in the Two of Cups. Some of you might be really good at like conversing, you know? Like me personally, if it's a new connection, like I'm like I got to feel your energy out first before I know what I can say, what I can't say. And I feel like you guys are wise in that way, but I feel like you're a lot more forward, you know? I feel like you're a lot more like, let's cut to the bullshit. Like, let's, let's just not do the run around. Like, let's speak our truth. Let's be real. Let's be blunt. And like, let's see if it's a fit. Let's see if it's a match. So I think that's, that's another one of your strengths, just being able to speak your truth and just not really overthinking shit. Closing messages for Aries. Fair man, dealings or relationships with a man with blonde, gray, white hair. For some of you out there, financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past. We also have I with psychic ability, trust your intuition. Some of you guys are really developing this intuition on a deeper level. With ear, we have good news coming towards you, Aries. Take all these as it resonates. I'm not really going to explain, but we do have butterfly. A change for the better. Grapes. Time to go out and have fun. The sun. Happiness and well-being. Rainbow. The most difficult part of a situation is over. Four-leaf clover. Great good fortune. Last one. And eagle. Damn. Triumph over troubles and obstacles. News of a birth or a new business opportunity. Aries, if you win in comment i'm winning because you guys are winning right now you're about to start winning if you're not yet aries i don't bullshit you all the cards came out you saw them come on <laughs> all right i'll see you guys soon thank you guys for all of your love support 26k if you want to follow me on social media donate to the channel book a personal reading links will be in the description boxes below or my about tab see you guys soon bye